Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So I hope you are all doing well and enjoying your colouring. So in this video, I thought I'd do a quick flip of this Kingdom of Curious Creatures, a fairy tale adventure book by Kanoko Igusa. So this, um, I believe, is a re-release of the um, Menuet, Menuet de Bonheur book probably said that a little bit incorrectly but I think you all you all know which one I mean and um, I have got the other ones this is a kingdom of curious creatures I think this is a garden of fairy tale creatures or something like that I can't remember but this is the other one that I did have for a while I have not coloured in it so this is Rhapsody in the forest by the same artist um, I didn't used to be too much. I think I just got this book because um, everybody was raving about it and I I mean it is a little bit intimidating to colour in these books particularly when you see such gorgeous images online and you just think I can't do that I can't do that justice I can't colour like that so um, I mean I have I flagged out pages to do but I haven't done anything in this one and really I shouldn't have let myself buy it this one but I wanted to buy it because it's the English version of it the UK version of it anyway and um, I've, I've been after this book for a while because there's some pictures in here that I really like in fact some that I like more than the other one the Rhapsody in the Forest one so I am hoping to start colouring in this starting a colouring with you on camera so that you can see that I've actually you know I have actually started one and if I start it I'm very much more inclined to complete it so I'm going to do a quick flip um, I don't want this video to be too long but yeah you've got these coloured versions I don't know if in the original um, book that these coloured versions actually existed or not I'm not sure because I obviously haven't got the original one but yeah there's some absolutely stunning pictures uh, I mean Chris Cheng has done some stunning work and as have others they just um, I mean if you're good with pencils then this is definitely one that uh, you might want um, so yeah oh, I think it's called yeah garden of fairy tale animals I think I think it is anyway the rhapsody in the forest but I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but yeah I've got more into the these sort of pictures recently as I'm getting you know older should I say um, I liked them before but I just think I'm more drawn to them you know sometimes you can like things but not be too fussed about colouring them but here I definitely there's some pictures in here that I really like like this one here I really like that one this one as well but it is a little bit um, I'm a little bit intimidated by the gorgeous art because I don't want to ruin it the paper is um, Yes, it's similar. Let me see. You see, this is bright white, the rhapsody in the forest. This is a little bit of ivory, I'd say. Um, the paper thickness in both books is about the same, I'd say. Yeah, about the same. Um, obviously, I'm gonna. You've seen all this before, because obviously it's just the UK version and look at that that's a lovely page as well but I can imagine this taking forever and I and this is another one that I like but I don't know I'm not sure I'd use um paints on this metallic paints I wonder if watercolours would work well so this picture and this picture are two of my favourites I'm actually thinking of uh, colouring one of these I don't know which one yet but yeah, we'll need to decide in the next few minutes. But yeah, it's such really cute little animals and... Centre the book a bit more. 
but there's less wallpaper type images in here. I think there's more wallpapery type of images in the Rhapsody in the Forest. So I didn't buy the other one because, of course, I've already got a copy of it. Uh, this one I didn't have, so I purchased it. So I thought what I'd do is um, do this quick flip. I can imagine doing that one in um, October time. Uh, and there's quite a lot of autumn type pictures in here as well. I mean, my pencil colourings are okay, but they're not like, you know, as good as some other people's. But I guess I'll only get better if I practice and I'll do my best. And it's about enjoying the process as well, isn't it? So, yeah. So I'm just doing a really quick flip because I know that quite a lot of you will have seen this book. Um... But yeah, finally out as in, on UK Amazon this. So it's nice to to get it. But I guess these will look so stunning once they are all complete, you know. Even double page spreads would look really nice. Oh, it says marry me there. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, welcome to our wedding. The bunny is getting married. Lots of wedding celebrations going on. This is another page that I really like. I was contemplating doing that one, but I'm not sure. I really like this double page as well. But uh, that's too much of a big venture. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to start colouring. I'm going to start colouring with my Artex pencils. I'm going to go off camera and then decide once and for all. So these are my 72 Artex pencils that I recently purchased because I've heard really good things about them. So I thought I'd use them. I have been using them um, and I really, really like them. I think they're lovely pencils. They're so nice. Um, I really, really like them. So I'm going to colour with them and yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, so I'm back. I've decided on doing this page because I like the mushrooms and I know it's a bit more of an autumnal theme even though it is the summer at the moment and I am um, a seasonal colourist. Uh, I still really like this, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. Um, I'm a little bit anxious about starting it, but let's just give it a start. I think I will do possibly a chalk pastel background or a pan pastel background but that I will leave to the end so um, this is going to be just a little bit of a colouring chat as well and just getting started on this page um, because there's a lot of mushrooms sometimes when, when I'm starting a page what I think is okay first of all decide the page and then second I'll think um, what kind of medium what kind of pencils shall I use that will mostly depend on which pencils. I'll use a range of pencil, pencils actually. So, um, and the ones that I like the best on the paper, I'll use those the most. But sometimes I also consider like the subject matter. So there's a lot of mushrooms here. So the pencils that would um, have a lot of sort of browns and greys and earth tones, I'd use them. So for example, the Derwent uh, drawing pencils would be quite good, I think. For this page um, and then I think back to the other colours in my sets so I think you know my Pablo's might work really well because there's quite a lot of um, earth tone colours in there as well so yeah that's what I think and then usually on most pages I'll think where can I apply the metallic paint here I don't think there's anywhere I want to apply metallic paint I just want it to be pretty much pencil and pastels that's it um, the only place I might metallic paint is these little on you know on this um the red the the mushroom no it's white isn't it it's supposed to be these white dots on the red mushroom i might put that on there but apart from that i don't think i'm going to put metallic paint anywhere um so yeah i've got my artex pencils i've chosen these colors first here it's not um, a color along so i'm not gonna bother talking about oops what I'm going to, you know, what the names of the pencils are because I'm just starting this on camera 
so yeah I'm hoping to make this page look quite colourful I'm going to do these lovely flowers here Um, these work really nicely so far, very pleased with them. And I'm just lightly um, applying the pencil, but yeah, what do I think of these Artec pencils? I think they are gorgeous, I think the hype is true. Um, I did hear that some of the colours are similar in name to Prismacolor. And that's when I was intrigued to try them out and had really good reviews about them. So I really wanted to try them out. Um, and yeah, I'm so, so glad I did because they are really, really nice pencils. Lovely and soft, smooth. They go down smooth. They're soft. They're, they're like a mix between... <coughs> excuse me. They're like a mix between... Um, Prismacolor and um, Polychromus. They've got the smoothness of Polychromus, but they've got the softness of Prismacolor. If that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I really like them. Um, and I would love to try out more Artex um, products if their pencils are anything to go by. I'm really, really pleased with them. Right now, so my darkest colour is going to be this one. So yeah, how are you all doing? So this is my second part of the video really, a bit of a colour and chat. How are you all enjoying summer? I know summer's not the best for everyone. I mean, I don't like it when it's, you know temperatures too high really so it gets you know when it's muggy and stuff and it's not just it's not I prefer spring to be honest I prefer spring and I prefer autumn you know not the extremes right I'm just thinking could I add another colour to just make it look a bit I don't know you know with these top artists that we're talking about like you know the ones that we all look up to on on the internet um on youtube they add a few different colors don't they shall i add a little bit of a i don't know what color would nice like let's look at this turquoise color here oh, actually that's too similar i want something that's a bit different what about this pink mind you just putting a little bit of pink at this bottom bit here just to give a bit of variation Not yet, I think that's okay. My pencil's not as sharp as it could be. So, yeah, that's alright. So now I'm going to go over with my second layer because I've decided on all the colours that I'm using. Um, what else then? What else to tell you? Um, it's... Currently, what day is it? I think it's the 18th, yeah, 18th of July. And it's the last week of term. And I'm very much looking forward to the six week summer holidays, which is later on this week. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to. Breaking up. Um, we have a couple of holidays booked. We've got, we're going to the lakes, as we always do. It's like a second home, really. Um, just for a few nights. And then we're also going to go to... Wales 
so yeah looking forward to that I might use a bit of a darker pink because I'm not too I don't think it's dark enough you know the tips of these flowers and I want to make this colour a bit more pronounced So yeah, I mean, we always look up to other colourists online. It's just a human thing to do when you see other people's art and you think, gosh, I wish I could colour like that. And that's really good because it, you get that inspiration. But um, we all have our own style as well, though. So having said that, we all have our own styles. Um, and so that's not a bad thing and we all get better with time and our own style gets more refined so to be honest with you when I used to um when I first started colouring I hated my um you know pencil colourings I hated it I used to I thought they just looked so rubbish let me bring you in closer even closer there we go yeah I just thought they look it's like kids coloured it you know like a I don't know, like a ten-year-old kid's coloured um, this, and it just just didn't look nice to me, and that's what put me off colouring with pencils. Um, but I stuck with it, and then I don't know. I just, I guess, the more practice I got, the better I became. And it is a slow medium, but you know. I mean I like layering so you can see here that I did put on the blue very um, lightly so that I could introduce this other colour this pink just at the tips I mean I just um, it's nice to just experiment as well and see what you can come up with and again, it's nice to have your own little take on, you know, your own unique take on each page. So, yeah. So now I have actually started this page because otherwise, if I didn't start it on camera, I'd be like, I don't think I would actually get it started. Just put a little bit more blue in here. So I thought I'll just do a little bit of colouring on camera and actually start this page um, what else can I talk about let me see yeah so the holidays are coming up looking forward to them um, I haven't been feeling massively great I've, I have this weird migraine that seems to linger on sort of vaguely disappears for a bit with taking tablets and stuff and then it's it sort of moves around my head so one day it'll be on the left side and it'll affect my eyes a little bit so my eyes will hurt and then I go to sleep and it subsides and then um, it's on the other side so that sort of is quite irritating <laughs> I have to say to have migraines because it is quite debilitating and it does make me quite frustrated um, and yet does that um anything else channel wise um i'm hoping to do a tag actually i think it was created by sassy coloring and i did see it on danny button's channel um a week or so ago which is a tag um is it the media whoops media freak out tag i think it's called coloring book freak out tag so i need to get my act together and film that as well I think I've got a haul as well. I got a few birthday things. So that haul, there's a haul in July and there'll be a haul in August and the birthday things will be in the August haul, I think. But yeah. But these pencils are working really nicely. Um, but I have tried these pencils on many other books as well. 
and um, I've got to say they are really nice to work with really really nice I just hope they come out with the larger set um, so these I did buy myself I did purchase them off Amazon myself so let me know what you are colouring at the moment I think I've completed about let's see nine pages so far so that's not too bad um, I don't know how many more I'll get done because you know me I like my um, detailed pages So this is what I'd call a serious page as well, because it's, um, so I'm using like medium, medium to light pressure here. Um, so these are all serious pages. And then at the same time, I'll have pages that are a bit more, um, you know, can just relax and you don't have to be too concerned about what colours you use and things like that. So yeah, it's all about just layering and layering and layering. And I know that's not something that everyone likes to do. Uh, I actually think it's quite nice. It's quite relaxing. I mean, it's going to take me forever to complete all these flowers in this way, but I'm not going to do it all in one sitting. I'm just going to go on to do something else. I just can't wait for some new books to come out as well. I feel like I have bought a few books, actually, to be honest me and not being able to stop buying colouring books because it's such an addiction um, but yeah I bought what did I buy recently I bought Houses 3 colouring book so if you're interested in seeing a flip of that book let me know but I do really like colouring houses there we go that's it so yeah I think this looks quite okay and um, what else did I buy I bought the dimensions 3d of, um, coloring book as well I saw that online I saw a flip through of that and um, I actually quite liked it so I got that um, of course I got this one here as well Right, so I've, co I've coloured that, that's just so that you can see how that looks. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I'll probably do the others in the same colour. So now I'm going to keep that blend of pencils to one side. Um, what should I do now? Let me see. Um, let's see, what about... Um, right... Let me bring you out a little bit. I don't even know how long I've been actually doing this video for. Let me see. Okay, it's nearly half an hour. So what I might do is I might just leave it there actually now because I think this video, I don't want it to be too long. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short flip and short little colouring that I did um, and colouring chat. I mean, it's not been a major colouring chat, but there's not much to, you know, really talk about for me at the moment anyway so um yeah at least i started this page and um you know that if i've started it i'm more likely to finish this page um because starting is probably one of the you know one of the most difficult things for me to start a page i just can't choose first of all i'm quite indecisive and then second once i've chosen a page um to actually get started um because i'm quite fussy 
and I'll be like I mean I'm, I'm fairly happy with how these flowers have come out um, so yeah all right until my next video thank you for watching take care bye